I hope there's not a Mako in this one. I hate to drive in that thing. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? What did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappear. We've got no target to go after. Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. Okay, let's see. I'll let them stick with whatever they want. That's a sniper, grenade launcher, shotgun, assault rifle. We have to worry about ammo this time. And this one. But I will probably stick with the assault rifle. And that's one. Is that the number that was on the Normandy? Looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. Flashlight or something? Strange. No bodies, no structural damage, and no signs of battle. systems were disabled at the end of the Gotta hurt! Enemies! <clears throat> Shoot them before they take out your shields. Those mechs shouldn't have been hostile. They should have recognized us as human. Someone reprogrammed them to attack on sight. We're not alone here. I mean, that's something. Right? I mean...
just a second. I like individual nodes to find matching symbols. When you've found two matching symbols, select them to complete the circuit. Complete all circuits before you run out of time to bypass. Say what? Is that this one? Oh, crap. Wait, unclick it. Unclick it. Seriously? See? So those are going to be a little bit more difficult than Mass Effect right. 1. Here we go. Regarding power. Wait, Shepard? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Shepard? Is that... you're alive? Kalizora, you served on my ship. You know what I do to people who threaten me. Praza, tell your team to put their weapons away. Damn it, Tally, this is bullshit! Why would your own commander work for Cerberus? I don't know. But if this is Shepard, I don't know. Shepard would have a reason. Cerberus rebuilt me, but I'm not taking their orders. We can discuss the specifics once I know why you're here. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. Isn't that a little strange? A Quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his soot CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Your people really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people infiltrated our flotilla, and tried to blow up one of our ships. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. We can argue over who killed who later. Right now we've got a job to do. Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the far side. You didn't really question the fact that we are alive. S -s Display current objective. Oh. Okay. Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security drones up ahead. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of them. We 
We've been spotted. Oh crap. I did it again. I did it again. Use overload on him. You're done. Got him. What? There we go. Enemy down. Shepard, Praza and his squad rushed on ahead. I told them to wait, but they wouldn't listen. They want to find Vitor and take him away before you get here. We should have expected this. Come on. We can still catch them. I did want to get to Vito first. Get your squad into cover and I'll open the loading bay doors. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Got it! Take point, Shepard. We'll cover the door. Take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Oh. Did you get reunited with Tally just so she can be killed? got heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. <laughs> Overlord will take out their shield. Yeah, wrong button. <clears throat> oh. oh, I'm out of it. Out of grenade ammo. Okay. Oh, what the? 
Oh! He was down, but he exploded and it killed us. You know what? I'm gonna try the shotgun. Probably a better time to do it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Try to overload the shield. What am I hearing? This is valuable. No! Okay. Wait. Oh, well, that's it. That I don't like. I was about to shoot. to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded shepherd. He's probably somewhere in the back of the loading bay. Well, at least Talia's not dead. Monsters coming back. Mechs will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide. Have to hide. Mechs will protect. Swarms coming. Storm coming. <laughs> Human, where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The, the monsters, the swarms. They took everyone. We're not survivors, Vitor. We just got here. You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. Is that some kind of alien? They're a species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you, then the monsters take you away. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds, machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you, then they sting you, freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. 
find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. I want to know more about the Collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare, a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I'm still trying to accept that you're even alive, and you're with Cerberus. I've got responsibilities now. I've got a mission of my own. I can't walk away from that. Not even for you. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch, given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the Relay reacts differently to Collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate Relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? What are the Collectors getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and work groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands.
You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. I'm still a Spectre. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you can convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. Where's Caden Olenko? He's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly well classified. Where's Garrus Vakarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Where's Liara Tassoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Hmm. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. You worry about the Collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collectors' paralyzing Seeker swarms. I haven't even started and you're telling me what to do? I'm giving you direction. What you do with it is up to you. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. All right. What's the other thing? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Joker? And he's walking? Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life. Let me fly. And there's this. They only told me last night. Art. Normandy's sister. It's good to be home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name. Oh, don't make me do that. Seriously? Just named her the Normandy. Okay. Guess at least I didn't have to name her.
Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Salarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Okay. Seems pretty straightforward. Run up and talk to see if we can talk to Joker real quick. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby! Better than new! It fits me like a glove! And leather seats. Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. <laughs> It's not the same, Joker. There's nothing here that was even part of the real Normandy. There's us. I have to take what I can get. The last two years sucked. You'll see. Even if an AI is spying on us, no way they'll invest this much just to screw us over. It'll be better than the old days. I hope so. I die. Yeah, you are such a downer. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? Why are you named Edie? Edie is the phonetic pronunciation of E-D-I. That is an acronym for Enhanced Defense Intelligence. What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Restricted functions? Like what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed, some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. Hmm. Let's discuss something else. Ready. But not what I wanted. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in a quantum blue box located behind the medical bay. How are you getting along with Joker? 
Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. <laughs> I think what there are other options ship? in the I operate job. ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. The elusive man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus's resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close range ship to ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. Dang. Sounds incredibly useful. Why isn't there someone like that on every warship? An organic operator cannot react quickly enough to changing circumstances or perform the necessary multitasking. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, we are suspect. Well, it might have something to do with how an AI almost destroyed galactic civilization, just putting it out there. <laughs> That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. A scientist is required to use the technical laboratory. Oh, of course. Welcome aboard, Commander. That's our grenade launcher. Ooh. I like I like the look of this. I like the fact that they've got everything laid out. I also like that. This is a nice design. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. It's good to hear a clear opinion. Sounds like we're two of a kind. That honors me more than you, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Eating. Okay. Well, we can check our equipment. Rapid fired grenade launcher favored by blood packed Morcha Morcha mercenaries capable of taking down multiple enemies with a single well placed shot. Effective against armor shields and bionic barriers. Arc projector. Arc projector ionizes targets with a non visible laser to ready ready laser to ready them for a high voltage electrical attack. As lightning-like bolt hits its first target, a sophisticated auto-targeting system paints succeeding, succeeding targets with an ionization laser, allowing the electricity to take the path of the least resistance, an arc between them 
an entire enemy strike team can be shot to death. Few pulls of the trigger. Let's give it a try. Looks like we don't have anything else. Moment. Okay. Well, that's weaponry. What about armor? What is this? Briefing um, room. Tech lab. We can't go to the tech lab. Still, armory should also house our armor, right? What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. I've never heard of a quantum entanglement communicator. How does it work? Essentially, two subatomic particles are created in an entangled state. One is installed here, and the other in the elusive man's office. When one particle occupies a given quantum state, its entangled partner will always enter the opposite state, no matter the distance between them. If we alter the state of our particle, that alters the state of the elusive man's. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum bits. Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay, and can pass only one quantum bit of data at a time. In addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point to point. To contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs, one linked to each world. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Okay. That did sound very useful. But... Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Thank you. Where's my pri is this my private terminal? Great unread messages. Archive messages. Whoa. I think we might get a lot more people this time. What's this? Squad selection. Okay. About upgrades. Upgrades improve your squad's member pa members powers, your weapons, and your ship, making mission success more likely. Acquire new upgrades by finding them on missions, purchasing them from stores or trading. Unread messages. Whoa. Okay. Let's see what this is. Message from Anderson. From Counselor Anderson. On the off chance that the rumors are true and you actually are alive, I need you to come and talk to me on the Citadel. A lot has changed in the last two years. You put us on top, and it's only fair that you be allowed to speak for yourself about what we've been hearing. From the Elusive Man. Shepard, we've reached an agreement with a veteran mercenary, Zade. Masani, you can know, you may know the name Zade has been involved in some of the best known and some utterly unknown military operations in the Terminus system and is feared as a ruthless, reckless, relentless bounty hunter. I felt you might need a man with his skills on your mission, so I arranged to have him join you. 
you will find him on Omega, where he's wrapping up his current bounty. Don't worry about his fee. We've taken care of that personally. From Project Firewalker. Commander, the MSB Rosalie, Rosalie, a survey ship with Cerberus connections, has gone missing. The survey team was field testing a new prototype, the Hammerhead Planet Side Exploration Rover. In addition, scientists Dr. Manuel Cadence and Dr. Robert Oloy was aboard the MS Roslyn and condu conducting research for us. We need you to find the ship, our survey team, and the doctors. The MSB Roslyn Rosalie? Rosalie. Was last seen near planet Xena. Lista Astara Frontier. Normandy crash site. From Admiral Hackett. Commander Shepard. Our scans in the Amada system have turned up something we thought you would you should see. Final location of the wreckage of the SSV Normandy. We thought this news might be important to you, but we also have an ul ulterior motive. The Alliance should would like to honor the Normandy with a monument to be built on the site of the ship's final resting place. We'd like to invite you to place the monument and be the first to walk on the site. There are still 20 crew members unaccounted for from the attack on the Normandy. If you find any sign of these lot lost crewmen, we ask that you report to the Alliance so that those heroes' families might find them, find some closure. Godspeed, you Commander. Recon Hood. The Elusive Man. Shepard. It has occurred to our armor technician that you may not want to show your face everywhere you go. They sent us a hood that Cerberus issues to its covert operatives. It has additional micro, micro frame functions that you may like. The hood is in your quarters. Ooh. Overlord. From the Elusive Man. Shepard. One of our cells just went off the grid without, an ex without explanation. Project Overlord has been experimenting with highly volatile technology, and I need you to investigate. Their work is extremely compartmentalized, enough that I can't divulge operational details over the channel. You'll find them on the planet Eta Typhoon System in the Phoenix Massing Cluster. Please use care in this matter. Art Projector on the elusive man, Shepard. We recently had an incident involving the Geth at one of our outposts on Skyland Verge. Don't worry, I'm not sending you out to chase anything down. Our operatives waged a highly successful battle against a Geth scouting party and credited their success to a new advanced electrical attack device that we finally let them take out of the lab. Since their unit is being reassigned for some rest and relaxation, I thought you should take custody of the weapon in the meantime. The weapon is called an arc projector. I sent it to the Normandy's armory so you can examine it for yourself and use it if you deem it worthy. It's gone through plenty of tests that indicate its overload kinetic barrier. It overloads kinetic barriers and synthetic enemies particularly well, but laboratory demonstrations are a poor substitute for actual field reports. We know it works. Now we want to see what it can do in the right hands. If all goes well, we'll use your tactics to train our operatives. Rendezvous with Kasumi Gato from the Elusive Man. Shepard, the great cost and effort we are trying have tracked down the master thief Kasumi Goto 
and convinced her to work with you. Very few people have ever heard of her, and fewer can claim to have seen her in person. She is un unqualified, unequaled at stealth and infiltration, and her skills will prove invaluable in your mission. Travel to Zakara Ward on the Citadel, where you will find a, spe a special aid terminal that differs from the usual. Input the password. Silence is golden to begin the rendezvous. Oh. Okay. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound? Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? If she's going to keep me updated on other things that need to happen around the ship, that'll be pretty nice because I didn't do anything in the first game because there was nothing that really said I needed to. And when I looked into it, or when I looked to do other things, it would just be like the same conversations. So. This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests, advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats, too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. That's a very positive attitude. What can I say? I'm a people person. Anything else you'd like to talk about? How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the Elusive Man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. Your trust is well placed, Kelly. I knew it would be. Thank you, Shepard. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Oh. Captain. Um. Let's start on deck four and work our way up. Well, that's 
port cargo. This doesn't tell me what it is. Just the hallway. That's engineering. Okay. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays, the... Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected, it's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Where did you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the Collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. <laughs> you just call it daddy bag? <laughs> How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Oh, man. Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. So why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. They'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines, and the Normandy is state-of-the-art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Oops. Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the Collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. Sharia. Well do, Commander. Where's that? I just lost volume. Lost something. How's that? Yep. It was that. I'm amazed Shepard came down to see us. I told you he would. What's this area of the ship? This is main engineering which contains the ship's main fusion plant and Mass Effect core. This is what we can see from the briefing room? No, not the briefing room. The armory. Okay. 
cardboard cargo. Okay, so both of those doors lead to the same thing. Doesn't look like we can go in the cargo area at the moment. Which is actually weird if this is our ship. We should be able to investigate all parts. What is this? Um, okay. What is this? Why is there a cot and it looks like a gurney? Why is that down here? Is there a... Okay. That can't be medical. That's not clean enough for medical. Oh, wrong way. I'm going to try this. Access to this room is currently restricted. How can you restrict me from my own cargo bay? Access to this room is currently restricted. What's this area of the ship? Normandy's cargo deck. It includes facilities to rearm and repair Normandy's embarked ground vehicle and shuttle. My last ship didn't need a shuttle. Why do we have one? This ship is nearly twice the mass of the previous Normandy. It is more difficult to land the ship on high gravity worlds. Well, I guess that's the view we get of the cargo bay for now. Alright. No. Elevator. Go up to deck three. Through quarters. Chef surprise again? Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, Princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. That'd be real nice, Mr. Gardner. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? You have everything you need. I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical, I make sure they're all clean and running. So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals. I wash my hands. Most of the time. This ain't no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel. And I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. How do you feel about working for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt puckers they can't see squat. It'll take good old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. Only Cerberus knows that. How did you find your way into Cerberus? Can you believe I was once a family man, working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough, but losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. I needed to make a difference. 
I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. And another restricted area. Main a gunnery battery. officer is required to access the gunnery control station. We'll have to see what we can do about that. Okay, medical is down here. Anything else to look at before we talk to the doctor? What's this area of the ship? The sick bay. It is equipped to provide short-term emergency care. In the event of critical injury, personnel must be transferred to a fully equipped medical facility. It sounded very condescending when she said, the sick bay. Commander Shepard, I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. I'm shocked. You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising. Even to me. Yet, here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. You have everything you need. I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center, a very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you on a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skillian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. And I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Like they're setting up for a fallout with the uh, with Cerberus. AI core. Access to the AI core is restricted. Miranda's office. Miranda gets her own office. Office and quarters. Okay. That makes a little more sense. So she gets her own quarters. That's fine. It's like shower, maybe. I don't know. Pause it. You know door right there would probably be a good thing. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. 
It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of oh. course, Commander. Whatever you need. We're not done yet. Commander, what can I do for you? Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. What exactly are your duties, aside from keeping an eye on me? I'm the elusive man's agent. You're his most important asset. My job is to make sure you succeed. Aside from that, I send regular reports to the elusive man, updating our status. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. <laughs> That's the elevator. Starboard observation we can't go through. Can't go to life support. Access to life support is restricted. The port observation deck is closed until needed. And restroom. They gave us a restroom this time. Two toilets out in public and two showers. Three showers. Am I going to find a woman's restroom on the other side? Through quarters. Women's restroom. Anybody in here? It's exactly the same way out. restroom is on the port side of the ship. Thanks, Edie. The starboard observation deck is closed until needed. Oh, she's a cutie. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Well, my family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. They put a lot of detail. To building the ship. Go to our, our quarters. Anything else up here with us? No. Interesting. What's this area of the ship? This is the commanding officer's quarters. It's larger than the quarters of other warships I've served on. This is a Cerberus vessel, not an Alliance warship. Accommodations have been made for personal taste. That said, this space is directly under the exterior pressure hall. The fitting yard workers called it the loft. Okay, we can access our private terminal from down here too. Okay. That's different. I wonder if we get to get some fish. Or maybe fish isn't the right term. Oh. 
Oh. Well, that's nice. Won't be able to use that, but... And here's the armor locker. Wait, as in customize armor or put different armor on? Customize. Okay. Well, wait. Oh, private bathroom. They really did put in detail for this. What in there? Oh, I bet that's what putting our helmet is on. Is is the um recon hood? Yeah. If the recon hood was different colors, maybe. Yeah. We can change our armor here. We just don't have anything. Okay. Well. Alright. Let's go to the Citadel. <laughs> 